hello guys what's going on today guys today uh i'm gonna bring you guys another video on how to replace your nvidia shield hard drive into a solid state and we're gonna do this because nobody has made a video about it or i haven't found one yet and it's super simple um the first time i did it i kind of like screw up because i tried to clone the hard drive within my computer not knowing that i needed a device such as this one right here i'm gonna leave a link in the description uh about this little device what this does is it clones the whole system of your hard drive without deleting anything because uh, if you connect the hard the nvidia shield hard drive in your computer your computer will not even recognize it so uh this little device right here i'm gonna leave a link in the description like i said and uh let's get to it guys let's do it so let me take this off real fast over here and i'll show you guys how easy it is to do let's do this so i got over here the nvidia shield pro 500 gig one and i also have a samsung evo 500 gig ssd drive so really easy to uh open this once i get this box open of course so for the device itself what you need to do is right here in the lower corner A flathead screwdriver just insert it in the edges right there really simple I'll show you how I did it again so I want to insert it right in the edge in the edge and once that side is open you just do it like this just flip it a little bit until it opens and then you got all this stuff over here so, I'll show you guys how to properly take all these off. Sorry about the mess, guys. I have a huge mess over here. And I saw, I'm sorry about my camera resolution, guys, but it's really hard to be a YouTuber and have a full-time job. It's not easy at all. Not easy at all. So the first thing I do when I open this right here, there's a little cable right here. So you guys can see it. This little cable right here, I take this off. You just push off. There we go. Then take this off right here. Just pull it down like that. The next thing, there's a screw right here that you have to take off. A screw and this little ribbon cable. It's like a ribbon cable over here. You just take that off like this. And then unscrew a little screw right there. that's done oh there's another ribbon cable right here you just flick that off up like that upward and then the hard drive should come out easily I forgot about this tape over here you gotta remove this tape as well sorry about that guys it's been a while I don't do this I guess should come out. There you go. Make sure you don't break anything, guys. There you go. 
So the hydroids are right here. It also has like a adhesive. So you gotta be really careful when you are taking it off. Because if you break this little cable, good luck finding it. The one that's unglued, just remove it like so. And that's it, this is your hard drive. So the next step we're gonna take is let me move all these things over here. So this is the hard drive you're gonna clone. So this one goes on top. Like I told you, I'm gonna leave you a link in the description for the uh, for this little device. Just really handy. There you go. And now we insert the solid state. background noise guys I know it's super loud my kids are crazy today it's Saturday and then we plug the solid state on the bottom one like so so I'm gonna plug this in <laughs> then turn it on Let me see that those lights coming on. All you have to do is hold down the clone button till it start flashing, and then press it again. And that's it. Once it reaches a hundred percent, it's clone, and then I'll show you the difference in speeds or even better I'll try to make another video to show you the difference on speeds so I'll get back to the video once this is done okay so finally after like 30 minutes is done as you guys can see 100% it did the whole cloning procedure so now I'm gonna turn this off get this black boy back <coughs> no longer need a hard drive anymore and it's gonna be super fast now <coughs> so let's get the solid state back in there or let's reinsert the solid state in there <coughs> by the way guys this is the best way to go if you want performance on your nvidia shield and i see a lot of people right now they're complaining about the new update of the nvidia shield because you can no longer record to twitch like you used to before which i i used to use it a lot it's really good it was really good but now the new feature that they put that they implemented in now that you can you can actually download Steam games to your NVIDIA Shield and play the game. Come on, guys. It's a no-brainer. Seriously? Like, you can actually... I don't know how many games work yet, but I try. And before you can stream the games directly into the NVIDIA Shield from your computer, your computer has to be on. But right now, if you have a Steam account, you can download most of the game directly on the NVIDIA Shield and play them like come on guys it's better than them recording to twitch or streaming to twitch come on seriously anyways let's get this done right now so this side goes first <clears throat> there it goes 
there. For that big one, I like um, putting the screw first. <coughs> and like I said, guys, I'm sorry about the video quality. I can make these videos 4K, but I have made 4K videos before, and um, I just I don't know, man. I don't like making 4K videos because. I usually don't get a lot of views when the, the videos are 4K. So I just make low quality videos and people enjoy it more, I guess. I guess 4K haven't taken over of everything yet. Anyways, this is to protect the cables right here. And we're good to go. And video shield we have Samsung Solid State on. So let's test this bike, boy. Let's test this shit out and see what's up. <clears throat> See how many seconds it takes to uh, start. <clears throat> I'm connect it here real fast. One second. Let's see. So, pretty quick. I was from. Let's see. Let's do. Let's do a restart. Let's see how fast it is. Because with a regular hard drive, man, it took like a minute and a half or two minutes to come live, man. It's it was too much, too much. So this this box is actually a customer of mine, a customer of mine. I uh I do these boxes. I put you know the cutting cable crap, but mine I have it with a solid state, and it's it's pretty pretty fast. This one's not bad, like you guys can see. I'm gonna make a video um showing the difference between a hard drive and a solid state. I know everybody knows a solid state is faster, but on the NVIDIA show so you guys can get an idea of how much improvement you guys get with this because this is a lot guys this is a lot I mean my NVIDIA show that shit was a piece of crap man with a hard drive <laughs> it didn't even want to freaking download apps like everything will get stuck it was a piece of crap guys I put a solid state in that shit and bada beam bada boom super fast anyways guys uh I gotta hack this box now, so 
thank you very much for watching this video uh, you guys can please uh, subscribe to my channel like the video I don't make a lot of videos but you know if you guys request some videos I'll be happy to make them but uh, yeah guys you guys have a great day